developments now on the investigation into sexual abuse allegations at St. George's School. The attorney conducting an independent investigation is asking all victims and witnesses to contact his investigative team. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian is live in the studio with the details. Kim? Todd, independent investigators are urging anyone with information on the alleged abuse to contact them immediately, and they're laying out the process for doing so. The allegations of sexual assault at the prestigious St. George's School in Middletown date back to the 70s and 80s, but the independent investigation into the alleged abuse is just getting underway. In a joint statement, attorney Martin Murphy says he and his Boston-based law firm have been retained by the school and the alumni victims group to independently investigate the claims. Murphy says we encourage any victims of sexual abuse, any witnesses to an incident of sexual abuse and other members of the St. George's community, whether alumni, current employees, former employees or others who believe they have information relevant to the investigation to contact us. So far, 40 men and women have come forward with claims they were molested at the school, some by staff, others by fellow students. Murphy says he and his team will interview every victim of alleged sexual assault in person if they wish and will even pay for their travel to Boston. He says anyone who might be concerned about violating any confidentiality agreements shouldn't be. He says the school will allow anyone to speak to the investigative team without fear of legal consequences. However, Murphy says because of his role as an independent investigator, there will be no attorney-client privilege. While identities may be kept confidential, information communicated to Murphy's team may be in turn given to police or released in court records. Now, when the investigation is complete, Murphy and his team will issue a report with their findings as well as any recommendations they might have for the school going forward. Rhode Island State Police are also conducting a criminal investigation. Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.